Guys, George Foreman was a huge man. This man was like 245, so he a huge heavyweight. But I'm going to let y'all see the sound of some of his punches right quick so you'll get to understand. Now, guys, this was one of the most scariest heavyweights of all time, really. I mean, this guy in his prime was just crazy. But a lot of people talk about George Foreman technique. But I'm going to let y'all see his technique working in a real fight against a real champion, Joe Frazier, who took Muhammad Ali and beat Muhammad Ali. And watch George Foreman. These punches that everybody say is sloppy and out of control. Look at what he's doing to Joe Frazier. The guys, <laughs> the guy's not that out of control. George Foreman, he throw his punches. You got to realize, George Foreman is 246.5. He got really, really long arms. So his punch is not going to be the same as a lot of other people. A lot of other heavyweights went, other than uh, Lennox Lewis, wasn't even 6'4". So y'all got to understand that George Foreman was a big heavyweight. So he threw his punches real different than anybody else because he had very, very long arms. So, I mean, and then you got to realize, George Foreman was usually punching down on opponents. Most heavyweights won that tallest door for him, so he had to punch down, so he threw his punches a little different. And now, guys, it's so funny we talk about his technique, but this guy had the most knockouts as a heavyweight, I think, of all time. Nobody had more knockouts than Joy for him. So, guys, sometimes, I mean, people say stuff. I just know everybody used to talk about his technique and say, well, he don't got that much technique. He throw Muhammad Ali, uh, Muhammad Ali even said it, but... He got power and he know what he's doing.